Hello, I'm Dr. Abana Poindexter, and I am a 67-year-old African-American woman, and I am excited to be able to share why I think neuroscience is essential. My journey began around the end of 2013. I noticed I was bumping into the wall, scraping up against the wall, as I walked down the hall to my bedroom. Not only was I bumping into the wall, I noticed that as I was driving, turning right, I would scrape the curb in my car. I began to wonder if something was off balance, something had to be wrong. I went to the eye doctor, the optometrist, and he said my eyes were fine. So I called my primary physician. and. In the appointment, I shared exactly what was happening to me. He said he would refer me to a neurologist. At the end of 2013, I had what I call an episode. I found that I was fatigued and my legs were weak and I walked kind of wobbly, I, like a duck. Well, no, more like a penguin. And that was a problem. By the end of 2013, I had had an MRI and a referral to see a neurologist. In the beginning of 2014, I saw my neurologist. I relayed my family history to her, and she told me that the MRI indicated that I had two small lesions involving my brain stem. She suspected MS and wanted to do a spinal test and I wanted to go home and pray. By the time of my next visit with the neurologist, I had had a visual evoked potential test and it had come back normal. However, in the meantime, I had a slight episode. So I relented and went and had a spinal tap. The next thing that happened is that Sabbath, I asked a church member, Dr. Franklin Westhout, a neurosurgeon resident, to look at my MRIs, and he did. Dr. Franklin said, Abana, this does not look like a MS brain to me. Hallelujah! But he did suggest that I get a second opinion I did. The second opinion concurred with Dr. Franklin. It was not MS, but he did not know what the two masses were. So therefore he re referred me to a neurosurgeon to see if I could have a biopsy. The neurosurgeon said he would not do a biopsy because of the location of the two masses. So back I went to the neurologist. The neurologist put me on three months of prednisone to see if the masses would shrink. They didn't shrink. He also ordered a cerebral angiogram. You know what? The angiogram revealed that possibly these were capillaries. A bundle of capillaries. That is why I believe it is essential that neuroscience research is continued. There is so much we do not know about the brain. And there is so much to learn. That is why neuroscience is essential.